afternoon. Whoop. Oh. This has a high likelihood of uh, failure. So yeah, 31st of May 2020, it's the day after SpaceX put uh, two astronauts on the ISS, which is very cool. Imagine if that was the culture doing that. It's just money. That's all it took. You know, money in the effort of a whole bunch of people. Who's to say 30 years from now we can't do the same? So yeah, so whew, it's a bit unfortunate that uh, today seems to be a day where every single person has gone to the woods and if there was a lesson you wanted to learn from uh, uh, for, you know, to promote the concept of getting up early in the morning, this is it. The best thing about getting up early in the morning is there aren't any people about. So yeah, so we're going to go this way. And then this is going to be a very short video. Probably sub 10 minutes. But it's coming at the same time on the same day as uh, a few videos that are going to kick off the whole culture thing. So yeah, I think I've managed to explain it in, in as simple a set of terms as I can. Um, we really need enough people so that everybody can throw in a few quid and we can get this thing rolling. You know? And can get somebody out there doing good shit. And I know lots of people are doing <coughs> small scale good stuff that benefits people out there. But it does strike me that's a, that's a little bit offering some kind of compliance to the system. Where essentially it's the system that's at fault. People are just doing their thing within said system. So yeah, we need to, we need to leave and show that existence outside it, but at the same time within it, we can achieve great things. So yeah. So sorry I haven't uh, done a video in a week. Had a bit of a crisis of self-belief for about a week. Sort of fell over and didn't do anything. <clears throat> and uh, ironically, Um, I'll be going back to work next week from Monday I'll be kind of busy for the next 10 days so uh, yeah that could be interesting but you know it's the nature of things perhaps I can get more done if I know I've only got a short amount of time in which to achieve it and it could banish procrastination <sighs> so yeah Let's do that. So yeah, it's all continuing and continuing on a pace. So yeah, down by the river, further out than I normally go, just to avoid people. I'm sure as things get back to normal, the number of people who will seek to go outside will decrease. Oh. So yeah, that's where I'm sitting now. It's pretty nice. Nice bit of secluded woodland. Ten minutes walk from my home. Yeah. So yeah, so in uh, channel news, which, you know, 
there are people that pay me money via Patreon, which is massively appreciated. Currently, it's paying my internet bill every month, which leaves me free to spend money on other stuff. And I've spent money on stuff that have not necessarily come into use yet, but uh, had a lot of time during the lockdown. So what have I done in the last two months? Well, I made a bunch of videos, as you've watched. Um, I've become a bit more organized and a bit more understanding of how my brain works in relation to making my own environment better. And we'll be going into that um, in the culture. I'm sort of saving that because I don't want to keep repeating myself. You poor sods out there have uh, listened to a lot of my theories and ideas and now I'm ready to actually start shaping those and pushing them. So once the culture's been up and running for a few months and it's got regular content, um, the Urban Agoge stuff will, will cease. Let me just raise that, trying to frame myself. The, uh, and there will be notifications on Rangers to shift to another channel. So we're going ahead with the culture and some playlists for that. Um, I want to do a short series on radio usage because it's something I've recently got into. That's one of the things I managed to score is a radio base station that's reasonably effective but has a fairly crappy antenna at the moment. So it's largely a hunk of circuitry. But I'll go into that more on the individual videos. I've got my studio up and running and the inaugural project for my studio will be the uh, Urban Agoge initial two videos that are going up hopefully today. The studio space is clearer. It's not perfect, but it's actually a space in which I can work. And in another room, I've got my radio set up. And uh, yeah, so trying to become more organized. But what I really need is for people to think about how many people they can contact in order to provide a base level of support for literally redefining what it is to be humans. We got this shot. Um, I've set a nominal target of a million people, which seems massively excessive and unbelievable. Um, but there again, so does anything worthwhile when you first started. You know, I'm not going to compare myself to political movements of the past or the concept of trade unions, but I do believe that a million people isn't an impossible goal. You know, one three hundredth of the population of the United States. It's, you know, one sixty-fifth of the population of the UK. It's one thirtieth of the population of Australia. You know, I don't need to get everybody on board, I just need enough. So, you know, if you can wheedle in the concept of the culture or you can point people at the videos, that would be cool. You know, all I can do is point out to the people in my circle, and I'm pretty antisocial, in a lot of ways and you know get them to push their people to other people to look at it you know we've got to put that pebble in the water and this is you know this is the first stage of that you know this weekend I hope to have a bunch of videos up an understanding of why we're doing it um, and some techniques for doing it just on your own you know you can declare yourself an outpost of the culture you know, you can make merch, you know, I really don't care. I don't, you know, I, this is not a personal profit thing for me. I won't possibly, I won't personally be making any money outside of what people choose to donate to me. You know, I doubt whether insight, you know, it's probably going to take at least a year for the culture to get enough traction to be able to put the first spade in the ground, to break ground for the first time on a, on a purpose um, constructed culture outpost. And we need them. We need a bunch of people living right in a way that doesn't impact the earth in a sustainable way, not using up more than their fair share of ground. You know, and if they are, they're preparing it for it to be a bigger outpost. You know, I want the first culture outpost to start off as a small holding, become a farm and then become a town. I want it to grow organically in the way that humans like to. So yeah, there's still a lot of problems to be solved. I don't have all the answers, but that's why we're recruiting a million people. You know, if you think it would be a good idea for there to be a bunch of people out there doing research into how electricity actually works as far as self-generation goes, how what's the best, most efficient form of growing crops, 
you know, possibly indoors, possibly underground, possibly in polytunnels, outside somewhere nice. You know, ideally there'll be a culture outpost in every, you know, biological biome on Earth. So everybody could live anywhere. But those are problems I'm woefully inequipped to answer, but I bet that once there are, say, half a dozen culture outposts all over the world and they're doing really well, they're getting good press, people are being decent to them and they're being decent back, that it will be enough of a thing that people kind of watch it like a soap opera. You know, if you look at the way the news is presented to us, it's like a rolling soap opera with resurgent characters again and again. You've got main characters, you've got, you've got you know, secondary characters, and then you've got all of us, and we're all part of that soap opera. And like a soap opera, it's pointless, it's bubblegum for the mind. You know, fair enough, those are real events, and that's how they hook you. A real event has happened, you must pay attention. But they don't do a rolling soap opera on changing things for the better, let's see if it can be done. You know, and I'm with Russell Brand on a lot of this stuff, and I'm, but also I'm aware that his, you know, he's out in one direction at the furthest end of, I was a celebrity, I've got the money and the time to devote to talking about politics and the way people could change. And then you've got people at the other end of it that are unemployed, you know, possibly facing addiction issues and, you know, having their natural abilities to solve problems being squashed by the circumstances in which they find themselves, having to sell off their time in order to survive. So, yes, you need to sell off some of your time in order to survive, but I don't believe it's 40 hours a week. I believe it could probably be 10 or less hours a week just for your survival. You know, food, shelter, clothing, you know, some sort of uh, progress in your life. So, yeah. So there's that. So those first couple of videos, the, the seed is, is going in onto the airwaves t today, you know, as I'm shooting this, 31st of May. Ooh, nearly halfway through my 50th year. So yeah, so there's that. There's all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I can't really wander around. And if I got up, when I got up this morning, instead of shimmying around, making breakfast, I could have got out, there would have been no one out here. I could have wondered where I wanted to, which is my preferred method of filming. But I'm having to do it like this, because, you know, this is punishment for being a bit lazy this morning and sitting around till about one o'clock. And now, you know, I'm in a nice place where I've got time, I've got the rest of today to get those videos rendered, edited, up and running, doing their thing. And I'll get those out. I'll also sort out my environment, prep for the next few days, and then we'll be good. So yeah. So, got my new adventure bag, because I think it's a bit better for filming. drinking my energy tablet drink. Those energy tablets that they use for people that are recovering from bouts of diarrhea or, you know, just feeling a bit run down that give you a, a chunk of um, glucose and all the vitamins that you need for the day are, you know, they're really good. You know, make up a bunch of them, put them in recycled bottles, bang them in your fridge so they're ice cold when you drink them, chug one and you're up and running. They're pretty cool. So yeah. That was my product endorsement of not a product. You know. So, you know, trying, doing my best. I am not the best person for the job. But at the moment, I feel I'm like, apart from the people that watch the videos and give me suggestions and stuff like that, I'm not saying there isn't already a team. There's a team of about 44 people now. A few more people have subscribed, but for some reason I can't find out you know, um, who they are and, and name them and go, well, really thanks, you know, I really appreciate your assistance because YouTube just doesn't tell you. I can't find it. So if somebody else, if somebody wants to find out who's subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'll be happily to shout out to them. But 42 people, you know, 42 good fans is, you know, at this point, way better than a thousand people that very occasionally check out the video. I'm cool with it. But this plan um, a, I need those 40, 44 people to basically think about it and come back to me and tell me where it's broken. But it's very conceptual at the moment, but it's scalable. You know, the idea is the culture, you are an outpost of the culture. You're there, you're doing it. 
you know, if you're sharing information or you're figuring out what sort of information would be worth hanging on to and relying on, then you're a culture of contact agent. You know, I dub thee. You're out there doing it. I appreciate it. And we need to, instead of having, you know, the reason it needs to exist is the, the vague association of people that I know, you know, they don't necessarily have a, a heading to put it under. It's just like a filing system. You know, you can throw all the folders in, into, a, into a big box and yes, you'll be able to find them in a, in a, you know, after about half an hour, you'll be able to find the paperwork you want. But everybody knows that if you file everything sensibly, you can find it whenever you want to a lot faster. And that's what the culture is going to be about. We're going to be filing. <laughs> we're, we're humanity's temps. <laughs> let's file all the information, just as a start. And then, the, you know, let's file, you know, the, uh, you know, incidents of progress. You know. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a million people united? I mean, you know, millions of people. That's not good. That's what happens when you get distracted. There we go. That's wrong. Sorry, I'm just reassembling the camera rig. There we go. You know, millions of people tune into some really pointless crap. I mean, they are the sort of people that will watch pointless crap by the million because everybody else is watching it. You know? But we need a revolution that needs to take place that's not illegal. Doesn't harm anyone. I mean, imagine the culture becomes a thing. We seize responsibility, you know, but we're not really seizing it. Just acknowledging that we have a responsibility. And some of us will dedicate time to it. You know, but if the difference between a million and a billion people, you know, isn't as much as the difference between you know, zero and a million people. So, yeah. So we really need to, f to find a way to get this out to thousands of people. And those thousands of people would have a responsibility for telling other thousands of people. You know, we desperately need change. We desperately need another option. But uh, yeah, so that's where I'm going to leave it because the battery's about to run out and I'm, gonna, I'm about to run into people. So thanks for watching, do take care. Where am I going, who's coming with me? And I'll be reporting on this until I die or you find someone better. Take care.